Item number SCP-154. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-154 is to be kept within Weapon Locker 8 in the Armed Research Site 47. Personnel wishing to research or use item must submit the required request forms, and anyone attempting to remove the item without clearance or outside of the facility is to be terminated on site. Description SCP-154 is a pair of simple bronze bracelets, completely circular and large enough to comfortably hang off the arm of most people. Spectrograph analysis has proven that the item is composed entirely of copper, 85%, tin, 11%, arsenic, 3%, and other, and other traces of slight impurity, which is below 1%. When both bracelets are worn on the same arm, the wearer concentrates on them with arms extended in a depiction of traditional knocked bowstring pose. Achieved by having the arm with the bracelets completely extended in front of oneself, the opposing arm extended up to the elbow of a fully extended arm. A large, indistinct, incorporeal bow will form the extended hand, and both bracelets will glow lightly. From that point onwards, SCP-154 can be treated as a bow or until the pose or concentration is broken which results in the bracelets reverting to normal. There is no actual bowstring, but completion of the motion of pulling it achieves the same effect. When the bowstring is pulled and released, the bones of the arm will be forcibly ejected from the extended limb, traveling in a, state, a straight pattern at speeds recorded over 300 meters per second. The missing bones and resulting damage from the arm are quickly regenerated, and the weapon is capable of being fired again within minutes. Tests using subjects possess multiple arms slash hands, such as SCP 1884 B, have demonstrated the ability to fire SCP 1454 several times, with the bones of different arms being used with each successive firing. The regeneration implemented by the item is limited, only affecting the damage inflicted by the weapon itself. This regeneration seems to be an automatic action and will continue in almost all situations. Both firing the weapon and resulting regeneration are, under are understandably painful, and participants which have used the item once are generally disinclined to repeat usage. However, there have found to be some occasional abnormalities regarding the regeneration, most often this manifests simply as minor mutations of the original subject, such as changes in size, pigmentation, structure of the original organelles. These are an uncommon occurrence capable of happening during any use of the weapon, though generally tend to occur during repeat usage. There are more drastic abnormalities, though these are much rarer and coincide with highly frequent use. These mutations can range from anything such as the growth of extra joints and digits in the infected arm, if <clears throat> affected, to a complete change of the chemical or physical structure of the limb. One test subject unknowingly had the bone matter within his arm converted into an unstable explosive compound, only discovering the fact when it detonated, causing two fatalities and three casualties. Another had the entire bone and musculature structure morphed into fully functional serpentine physiology. Footnotes SCP 1884 B was permitted to use, be used in testing with its approval. SCP 1884 B was able to fire five shots from SCP 154 within a minute. Testing ceased on SCP 1884 B's request following. SCP-81884 A becoming distressed due to pain associated with SCP-145 use. Damn it. One, five, four.